That song was Four Hours of Sleep by Tobias Karin, also known as Anfa. Go get it. See the link to his channel in the card above. So, in order to perform all this magic, you're going to have to upgrade your animation nodes. I'll put the link below. And you'll have to uninstall your old version of animation nodes and upgrade to this beta version. You'll get it from Graphical. Version 2.0. I'll wait right here while you do that. So the first thing that we're going to start with here is a bake sound node. And we're just going to add it with a control A and look for bake, bake sound. And there it is. Then we're going to load up a upbeat MP3 with it. And I'm going to bake the average on it really quick here. And that's already done. And I'm going to bake the spectrum too. You can change these settings the way you want, um, especially the calculate spectrum frequencies because you can change how many spectrum separations are going to be. And that's useful for isolating a certain sound you want. Like if you wanted the bass drum to do something, then you would go for the lower frequencies of that. But anyway, so we're just going to do 10 for this. So just have to wait for a sec. Well, maybe more than one sec. Maybe several secs. Maybe like a lot of secs. So after that has baked, what you do is... I'm going to start with the average part of it that does a... Uh, like basically a visualization of the equalization. So what I'm going to start with now is I'm going to add an object instancer. Add object instancer. Ugh. All right, I'll just do the search. Instancer. Boom. All right. In this case, I'm just going to do 10 and I'm going to do the cube. And what I want to do is add a object matrix output because I'm going to be doing um, matrix transformations with it. And I'm going to add a offset matrix set eh. matrices. Boosh. Let's put that on here. And the next thing is a distribute matrices. Mute, distribute, there we go. And we're gonna plug my matrix into here. Now you can see it already changed something here. Let's get rid of this real quick. Um, we can change this setting right here to alter the spacing of it. Okay, so this is a linear. You have several choices, linear, circle, grid, vertices, etc. But what we're going to use is linear this time. You can play with these other settings at your leisure. So I think I was at about 10 or something, just enough to see the separations. So in this case, all I want to do is change the location and I, I want it to just be Z. So I'm going to make the X location, actually, that is... Yeah, translation. So I'm not going to change the X or the Y, but the Z is going to change. So I'm going to make it just one for now. Next, I want to add a sound fall off. So control A, sound fall off. And we've already baked. I'm going to plug that into the uh, fall off socket right there. We've already baked the average right here and the spectrum both, but what we're going to do is keep this at average and we're going to just pick the one that I just did. So now that should be feeding into it and you can see it there. If I press play, spiffy, working good. Now I've only got five here. I'm going to change this to 10. Now, if you want, you can <clears throat> add a number, integer, 
and feed that into both of those so you can you only have to change one of those at a time or one of these and change both of you change this and it changes both of them so I can make it 20 or 30 or whatever so we just change my separation a little bit more and control uh, alt a yeah that's pretty cool right there right so in the uh, in the beginning video I had done it I had done it with the circle uh, distribute matrices. So on this, you can an adjust how much Z is affected by just changing that number, and you can see it's a lot more uh, pronounced. So that's the one way of doing some visualizations. And the other way is actually my preference <clears throat> and what I do is I add an evaluate sound. Evaluate sound. <clears throat> and I'm going to change this to spectrum. And pick my spectrum bake info. Then I'm going to add a list. Get list element. Boosh. Get list element. And then what's going to come out of there is a volume for that specific frequency that was baked from my bake sound node. So I want to change this guy right here. He is isosphere without a one or anything. So I'm just going to change the object output of that transforms output. And I'm going to eyedropper it in there. And I actually want to change the size of it based on the beat. So, I hit go. It's too small to see. Well, all right, so what I'm just gonna do now is just add a math to make it a little bit bigger. Add, number, math, insert that in there, and I'm gonna multiply by five. Ooh, I multiplied it by 50. <laughs> Should be massive when it goes. Eh, it's cool though. Now you can see that it seems to be going with the kick drum. That's pretty good. So what I want to do is I'm going to make this other one so that it goes with a snare or at least something up higher up in the sound. And so I'll duplicate all of this. Woo, I didn't mean the sound fall off can go away. So I'm going to just change the index first. Okay, let me just change this to isosphere 001 so that that one has a different right now they're doing the exact same thing because they're on list element zero so I'm gonna leave the one on list element zero and I'm gonna change this one to a higher number now I think I think I baked 10 divisions so let's just change this to say seven Mm, it's not real obvious. Now that is obvious. So you can see that the higher frequencies is on this one right here, and the lower frequencies are on this one. So there's a clear separation. So if I wanted to isolate different instruments and that kind of thing, I could do it by using the list elements from my spectrum bake. That's pretty cool right there. And that is the crux of what I did in uh, my creativity video, a link above there, and the uh, intro for this video. That's all I was going to say about it. Thank you for watching.